him, and even putting his mother on the phone to verify the story with no luck. So, this is now legal. You know why they're doing this? They want you to have to put your money in a bank. That way they can take it out at will. It's called a haircut. Look up bank haircut. Look up negative interest. That's what they're walking you into. They want you to get acclimated to this so you can, put, you can pay to have your money put in the bank. Just like you do every time you're dumb enough to use the ATM machine. Don't want to do it? Go to TheMediaSpeaks.com. Look up how to live without banks. I do it every day and I teach you how to do it. It's free. Leaving aside the unsavory hint of racial profiling, it says, there's the fact that the DEA helped itself to cash simply because it was cash. It had no reason to suspect Rivers of anything, but the money was apparently too much to pass up. Even having his story corroborated was useless. And sure, the DEA agents had no reason to believe that anyone Rivers was in touch with was a trustworthy source of information. After all, I guess he's a drug dealer. But to grant the DEA the benefit of the doubt for its refusal to believe Roger's mother's statements is to cut to the agents an absurd lack of everything preceding that. And it's right. It says what the DEA actually have here, a guy with 16 grand in cash, according to the DEA's own statements, it doesn't need anything more than, more than that to affect an asset seizure, that is stealing of money. According to the DEA's own statements, it has no reason to bother with anything more than a cursory look that confirms what it wants to confirm. Well, I took quite a bit of cash with me when I bought my last van. What, if I'd have been pulled over, they'd have taken it? Again, I, I don't bank, and no, I don't have money in the house, by the way, uh, before you get any bright ideas. I invest in gold and don't keep it in the house. Um, Sean White Albuquerque said that in general, DEA agents look for indicators, such as whether the person bought an expensive one-way ticket with cash. Well, yeah, he was moving to, for a music career. If the person is traveling from or to a city known as a hotspot for drug activity, uh, Los Angeles is also known as a place to get a record contract. And if the person's story has inconsistencies or if the large sums of money found could have been transported in more conventional means. It's none of the government's damn business how you carry your money. That absolutely isn't, but that, that's the grounds that they're using uh, to take your money away from you. I gotta find this direct quote here that's just absolutely ridiculous. So it said, boom, there's your problems, or rather Rivers' problems, is that the money is presumed to be guilty. Listen to this. As if on cue, the DEA who won the dum de dum de today is completely unaware of the level of scrutiny and negative public opinion centered on asset forfeiture. That means that people don't like you taking the money. He delivered the most tone-deaf talking point ever. We don't have to prove that a person is guilty, Wade said. It's that the money is presumed to be guilty. Guilty money! How the hell do you have guilty money? Only somebody dumb enough to win the dumb the other day would say something like that, and that's why he won it. Stupid ass. Swear, and the people wonder. People wonder why I yell. Uh, Infowars.com, last of the two dumdies here. Cobra, Bilderberger's weapon of choice. Now, friends, if you don't know what Bilderberg is, look up Bilderberg, why it mattered to me. The movie is up, and it's free. Christelle and I made it ourselves. We, Alex Jones is in it. Uh, he talks to us. Mark Dice talks to us. Luke Radowski, a bunch of heroes of the uh, liberty movement. So go look it up. Um... In a nutshell, Bilderberg is a illegal, according to the Logan Act, look it up too, an illegal meeting of power brokers and the leaders of the nation to talk about things without any documentation or press coverage, which of course is illegal according to many points of the Constitution. Well, they're, they're meeting and they have a sec they have sec uh, security force. They're known as COBRA. Now I know that Cobra and G.I. Joe is, is fake comic books. I'm well aware of that. But the people putting this together are roughly my age. And anybody even close to my age is well aware of who Cobra is. And you would hope that anybody that is putting together something, something like a Bilderberg meeting would be well aware that they are already looked at as uh, terrorists in the, uh, in the broad sense of the word as they use it. Um, they are very dirty people to begin with. So you're going to let them be guarded by Cobra. 
Listen to this. The Bilderberg Group will reconvene in 2015 with their corporocratic mixer focusing on the unified geolocation strategy at the opulent Interpolin Hotel. Oh, Buffy was staying at the Interpolin, Interapolin Hotel. It's in the Austrian mountain near Telz. In a press release, the Australian police, re, the Austrian, excuse me, police revealed security for the confab, and it will be in operation from June 9th to June 14th. A statement from the Minister of the Interior notes that in conjunction with German police, extra special police forces known as COBRA will be called in to operate security during the gatherings. Pulled right out of the fact is stranger than fiction category, the elite special forces consortium counterterrorism police protecting the miserly, warmongering, ravenous den of psychopaths that is our leaders is none other than COBRA. COBRA was the name of the terrorist organization confronted by American forces in the 1985 Marvel comic Hasbro series G.I. Joe. In other words, COBRA was the enemy. It was American heroes in that story that were fighting COBRA. The Federal Ministry of the Interior changed the unit's name from GEC to Ikio COBRA in 02. The Einstizekommando Einstiz COBRA, formerly known as GEC, I'm not even going to try it. Yeah, I'm going to try it. Gender Miras Commando was formed in 1978, primarily as a response to the attack on Israeli athletes at the 72 Munich Olympics. The Interior Minister's statement also notes police are considering significant traffic restrictions in even a 30-mile no-fly zone around the meeting. So they don't want their little illegal meeting bugged and uh, bothered by those pesky protesters, even though they're breaking the law by having it. But they're going to be guarded by people that are named after the biggest terrorist organization in fictional history. And it doesn't really matter much whether or not, in the scheme of things, the name is named after something fictional. But let's just say for a minute that they were called Joker Enterprises. It's the same thing to anybody that knows what comic books are. And it proves exactly how shallow and short-sighted these greedy, monstrous people are who are meeting behind our back to plan things like uh, the Trans-Pacific Partnership, which is going to destroy trade as we know it, and further decimate the country the same way that outsourcing has done. Friends, you're listening to The Correct Views. Sam I.B. DeGange with The Media Speaks. Go to TheMediaSpeaks.com. Look up the work of Kyle, Court, D. Lake, and myself. Every penny that you give to them uh, give to me goes to a better show with them, I should say. You can donate at the correct views at hotmail.com. And uh, thanks for listening. Hit share, hit subscribe, because every time you do that, it helps us immensely here, friends. It really does. And when you donate at the correct views at hotmail.com, we put all the money right back into the show. So thank you, friends, for listening. Good night, and God bless. <laughs>